Let's take a look here uh, if a customer had a complaint as in I don't have any hot heat coming out or any cold air. One of those could be what we call a blend door. And of course, to further expand on that, on your dashboard you're probably going to have a total of three different things you can do. One, you can control the, fan, the speed of the fan. Two, you can control the temperature, and we do that through the blend door itself right there, be it if out of hot water from our engine or be it air conditioning from our AC unit itself then. And then the other one is going to be our mode doors, and that means is the air coming out in our face, our face and our feet, on our feet only, defrosting on our feet and of course for safety is going to be defrost so it can clear the windshield within itself so there's really three things that you can command to happen on a manual system and again fan speed temperature and where the air is coming out of on that then if we look at this system right here first i'll slip the blower motor out of this and this is nothing more than a 12 volt electric motor that we will change the amount of electric be it 12 volts or 6 volts or 8 volts to it to then change the speed that this squirrel cage type fan goes and on this the air does go into the center and works its way out just like a washing machine would sling water uh, on the uh, uh, not the rinse cycle yeah the rinse cycle and so on like that it would clean it out so the air goes in and out that all comes in through a hole right here that comes in through our fresh air or a recycled air but again it comes in works its way up this plenum here then and right down here in the bottom is a resistor block that is used to change the amount of electric that makes it to our heater usually they mount it inside the heater box it's blowing air over it it gives up some of the energy some of the electric here and only a small amount of electric makes it to the motor itself then of course the air works its way across Let me make sure you can see all of this and as that air comes across there on this, it comes over, then goes up through our heater core, or our air conditioning unit, then our heater core. And the reason for going through the air conditioning unit first is that it is a going to dehumidify the air first. So we have the possibility of dehumidifying it, then bringing the air up, running it through the heater core, warming it up, and then defrosting our windshield coming out of bi-level or on the floor. So if I lift this heater core up out of this assembly, again we know that the heater core is for the heat and of course the tubings is what's going to go up to the water hoses in our automobile for hot water within itself. And he can provide heat if we need to. Get him out of the way. And then left over down below is the air conditioning unit. It has a foam over top of it to catch any ice that may happen on this. And of course then our air conditioning unit sets in here. Now this one of course we can see the mice started making a nest inside of here. And he's full of leaves and all kinds of debris on that. So the air again comes in, over, up through the evaporator for air conditioning. Then we have the ability to either send cold air into the automobile or make it come up and over for hot air. To do that, we have an electric motor on this one. And this electric motor, I'll pull this pin out and we'll see what he does right here then as how it electrically changes positions to then give us air just off of the air conditioning or air off of the heater core. So this electric motor that has multiple positions on it that has on this one a total of six electric pins on him down inside so it is computer controlled you could say from the body control module it'll drive this shaft right here then that a gear train works up to and rotate this double D hole that double D drives then, or the electric motor, then drives this axis, which then makes this door either open or close. If that door is in this position, the air comes across, up to the evaporator, and into the car, so we have total cold air, which would be requested for our air conditioning. But if we just want to dehumidify and heat, or have heat only, this closes, forcing the air up 
through the heater core and then into this area, which will then be, we will decide if it's defrost by level or on the floor itself. And so these doors, there's nothing more than what swings back and forth to uh, help change whether it's hot or cold if we have the Freon system working right for the air, if we have hot water being applied to the heater core, then the problem may exist in such as working this door back and forth. And of course in this door we can see the foam edging on that. If maybe something fell down the dashboard from up above such as a uh, pencil or so on like that, those can get lodged in these doors and keep them from working. So a very simple test is to slip the motor off and then rotate this back and forth and you see if you hear the thump when it closes against the individual baffling and porting and so on like that to tell you if you have the ability for this to rotate on there. 